Yo and welcome back. So today's vlog is a little bit different. Um, I'm going running now and then later on in the day I'm going to go and do a bit of a bike check on the new Beta 200 that I just bought. It's the racing model so I'm excited to show you that. But before that I'm going to go running this morning um, with a guy called the Marathon Man, Gary McGee. He's been running a marathon every day this year and I think he's got like 10 or 11 left so I want to go and help support him he's raising money for Macmillan Cancer I want to go and do a few miles with him this morning just to help him on his way but I think it's absolutely incredible what he's doing um, and hopefully I'm going to do 5 or 10 miles see how I'm feeling and then I'll be able to ride the next few days it's now just after 6 o'clock we're leaving at about quarter to 7 so then we can get to his house get ready and get on the way so I've had my breakfast, we are going to stop again because it doesn't matter what you eat when you go to do some training. Eat what you want. Have you got North Pole? Well, I'm going to be sat there now, aren't I? <laughs> what are you pedalling? That's a perfect cup e of tea, got that. Got Time. How are you feeling? Are you ready? Not really, mate. I've had a couple of runs. Um, totaling for oh, uh, nine mile in the last three days. So, all right. What have you been clocking it up then? See how it goes. It's more than us, isn't it? Are you ready for it? No, not at all. Hey, Dave. Ben, how many have you done now? Uh, I've done about ten marathons, but I would say I've run about a thousand mile with him. Really? Yeah, this yeah. year? Yeah, yeah. Fair play. Unreal. And Jamie's got his headband on just to hide the hairline too. Yeah, well I'm going to put mine on. And I've got my cap on <laughs> just to hide mine. And yeah. Emily's got a good hairline which she's got. Get it out for the weather. Ready for the weather, I bless feel you. like Johnny's a bit conscious about this hairline. Is he going to Turkey anytime soon? Might, nah. Well, if you I'm do, just if you do give it. a shout and I'll come with you. See if we can get a three for one. Yeah. But I put a cap on. Feel because if the wind gets underneath it, job's done. Everyone will laugh at me. Feel it, Johnny, you need any <laughs> uh, no. Have you got the key? Yeah, but I've only put two cans of Red Bull in. You don't want to take them down now? Mm, no. Well, take the crate down. I'll take, carry the crate down. Get the Rouge Bulls in for everyone. Uh, well, <laughs> Yes. How are you doing? Morning. Are you alright? Right, Johnny? Yeah, you? Yeah, good, thank you. I'll be doing that, please. Right, so if you're you doing 18 today? Maybe. Yeah. You are, yeah. Ben. If you fancy doing like a little bit more, if it works, you can run back yeah. down. Yeah. Right, so, I'll um, see you, hoodie. When we set off, you can always lose for those who haven't run before, just keep your eyes on the path because there's some. Um, some raised bits where the tree roots have come through. We don't want anybody uh, falling and hurting themselves. All right. Now go, Mas. Ben's how far are we at now? Uh, we are at 11, just coming to 12 mile. 12 Last mile. stop before brew stop. What? Oh, Ready brew for stop. it. Brew stop. That sounds good. <laughs> we just stopped. There's like, um, how many stops? There'll be quite a few stops on the way. And people put um, boxes out. Boxes out with food. like food and sweets and drinks cake. and sweets and that for him. And I think everyone else, right? We haven't had any. We brought our own. Oh, we're athletes. Uh, yeah. But we're 11, just over 11 miles in. Um, I'm just coming out at 12 or 13, wherever Jamie's van is halfway. And uh, all these mad dogs, including Ben's, yeah. will just carry on, do marathon, get the job done, go home, back to work, eh? Well, yeah, it's not a bad shift, Johnny, you've put in easy. Well, How many miles have you done leading into it? Not, <laughs> two miles? Yeah. Nah, I've done a few runs, done a few runs, not bad. Ben's is. Back to work. We're going back to the old cycles. Newland cycles. Pick some bikes. If you're in. And sell some bikes. If you're in working, go and check him out. 
he'll hook you up good deals there. Yeah. All the deals. Adios. Yeah. And We've been dropped. But we're gone. We've been dropped. We're going all the way. We're not turning around early. Yeah. And back up. How are you feeling, pal? Are you going for the full? It's not really, are. It's a big decision, and as I said before, if you do, if you go further than half, you have to do the full thing. Or if you do half, you pull out and you're good. It's up to you, pal. It's starting to rain here, look at that. Never been one to give in, Johnny. No, me neither, but I just know what's good for me. Oh, is that one for me? Thank you. Thanks, Liv. Hey! You on for a brew, Ben? I went on a brew, yeah. Bit Everyone's lemon, on a brew. Lemon drizzle. Bit of fire it. This is amazing. How many days in? 350? 355. Look at that, mince pies. Just got back to the van now. Um, I ran 13 miles which I'm quite happy with. I had my ACL six months ago and I haven't really ran. I've done a few little runs, maybe three or four miles, nothing too much. Um, my ACL knee that I had the surgery on felt amazing. My left knee felt really shit, so <laughs> it is what it is. Um, now we're heading off, we're gonna go get some food and then I'm gonna go and do my bike check now on this new bike I've just bought. But what he's doing, running a marathon every day is absolutely unbelievable and he's pretty much ran the same lap um, so I'm gonna put the link in uh, the description below of his uh, just giving page or whatever it is um, and he's just raising money for cancer so Macmillan cancer so if you can donate every little helps he's got like uh, was it 10 days left he's got uh, yeah, until the end of the year. I think he's got another 10 marathons left. I've been wanting to do this all year, not a chance. So it's amazing to be able to run. If I can go the next few days, I will. I probably won't have time because I've got a lot of stuff to sort out and I want to try and ride. Um, so yeah, please donate. It's all for a good cause. It's cold. <laughs> <laughs> come on in, come on in. I'll put the door down. So... This is the new bike that I purchased. When did I buy this? Not yesterday, the day before. Two years ago. So it's just totally standard. 200. I rode on in America. Absolutely loved it every day. Well, not every day. I rode it once. You rode it all for day. one day, all day. Never got off it. There was like the new 450 there. There was loads of bikes, but I went on this one. Loved it. So it's totally standard. I'm going to go riding on it tomorrow. Um, <clears throat> as it is. So then I can say what I would change on the bike from standard to try and make it more raceable. This bike actually comes with the KYB rear shock, which loads of people commented on my last video um, at the Super Enduro because I still had the old shock and the new plastics. Basically, I put the new plastics on, the, the shock... Um, takes time to set up. I never had any time before because I flew in from America. I rode one day, one day before I went to Poland in three weeks just because I was ill. I went to hospital, had some infections and stuff. Um, so I did the one day running the bike in, no time to test the shock. As much as I'm desperate to use this shock, I just haven't had time. And I don't think I'm going to be able to for the second round. So I'll be probably with the ZF shock, but anyways. Um, it comes with that new shock which looks fantastic and it's just a standard bike. I'm going to drop the tyre pressures I think to about 12, 12 psi. You lot will know more than me in the comments. I've never rode a tubes, especially for enduro. Um, so I'm going to put 12 front and rear, see how it is. Not going to touch any clicks, not going to change anything. It is what it is. I've got 40mm of sag. I just checked what sag is in the shock. I've also put my handlebars, I always run my handlebars like in line with the forks, so they're quite far back if you know what I mean. Um, but anyways, I'll go through what I'm going to change in the next video. So this is a bike, I'm absolutely knackered, I did 30 miles this morning and now I'm here. I'm going to go riding tomorrow, hopefully I'll be fresh tomorrow. So anyways, peace out, thanks for watching. Yeah.